before we took on Ipswich Town at Portman Road. He duly brought in highly rated youngster Carl Walker on loan from Tottenham. It's simple most of the time so far in the opening 30 minutes of this match. Gorks goes. Yeah, good head on by Helgerson. Mackey has the shot, and he'll get a second opportunity. Still, Mackey, it's 1 0 to Queen's Park Rangers. He had two or three bites at the cherry and eventually finished. Fulop could do nothing about it. Half an hour gone at Portman Road, Nipswich Town are a goal down to Queen's Park Rangers. Just floated in towards the near post area. Ledbetter maybe another chance to deliver. No, Ephraim gets in the way. Up to Tarap, QPR on the break, and they're very, very swift. Mackey running forward towards Mark Kennedy to his right hand side. He has Walker. He shoots and he scores. Jamie Mackey with his second of the game, his sixth of the season, puts QPR, the leaders of the championship, 2 0 up against Ipswich Town. 24 minutes to go in this championship match. Ipswich Town having to do some defending at 2 0 down. QPR on the attack. Shot comes in from Buzaki. My word, what a finish that was, but it doesn't count because the referee had already blown his whistle. That would be one of the best goals of the season if it had given a penalty. The referee has given a penalty kick, though, to Queen's Park Rangers. Very difficult to work out why on earth he's done that. Two or three Ipswich Town players surround the referee. It will be Helgerson and not Mackey who's looking for a hat trick. Helgerson with a penalty kick for QPR to shore up all three points. Surely he gets it underneath Fulop, who went the right way. It's into the back of the net. QPR lead by three goals to nil. And they're heading away from Portman Road with all three points.